Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the co-main event of the evening. This rematch will be contested for the FSC Welterweight Championship over three five-minute rounds in a professional welterweight division. Once again, let's welcome to the red corner. The challenge of this evening, 13 victories, 13 defeats. We're representing London Shoot Fighters from England, Mr. Bag and Tag, Nathan Jones. And his part of this evening in the blue corner. Entering the cage with a record of 11, 13, and 0. Representing Karate Khan. He's the reigning, defending FSC champion from Spain, Samuel Blasco. Your referee in charge, Mr. Harry Selby. Co main event time here for the Fight Star Championship Welterweight title Samuel Basco from Karate Can in the blue corner his opponent and the challenger Nathan Jones from London Shoot Fighters in the red and this is a rematch uh, last time these two men fought at FSC 27 Samuel Blasco got the guillotine in the third round Speaking to Bag and Tag, he said it was a hard pill to swallow, but that's why he loves MMA so much. Anything can happen. It's definitely a fight for the fans, and he's ready to do it again. And going to use the same ga game plan. You know, he's, he was winning in the majority of the fight, apart from the choke in the third round. So he said he's not changed much, but he's uh, happy to put another show on for the fans and try and capture the Fight Star Championship welterweight gold. Samuel doing a good job of getting Nathan Jones up against the cage. Now standing takes his back. Nathan doing a good job of hand fighting here. Jones, an MMA tactician, excellent striker and gifted grappler. He also has a heightened ability to tie his grappling and his striking together to offer a kind of a double offense that he can easily switch between. Right now trying to disengage the hands and turn towards his opponent. Samuel's doing a good job of staying right on the hip, not too high on the hip to where he could get thrown. Kimura trap though from Jones. Can use this to submit or to sweep. And Samuel looking to Use Jones' attempt at the Kimura to take his back. He's got both hooks in now. Now this is the highly anticipated matchup where we see Samuel wanting to reaffirm that the first win against Jones wasn't a fluke. Making a strong case so far, but Jones able to get to the top position. Nathan Jones doing a good job isolating that arm, avoiding that guillotine. He's looking to set up an elbow on the break. Samuel Blasco doing a good job of keeping control, keeping that head right inside. Jones is looking for that elbow again, looks to twitch. Could turn it into a turning back kick. Looking for the head kick, however. Blasco closes the distance, looking for the knee. Head pressure there from Blasco. Looking to punish the legs of Jones. Blasco doing a good job of framing out Jones's head.
Jones said he went pro in 2011 on UCMMA. And when he started MMA, it's because he got attacked and started training. And the rest, of course, is history. He's got a resume that speaks for itself. After this matchup, he's going over to Bellator to fight. So just wants to avenge <coughs> this loss and try and uh, regain that loss. And, uh, you know, it's, it's important for him to, to kind of correct that mistake. And Jones doing a good job of staying nice and tight. Nice step and elbow. But Blasco, as we know, unorthodox in his striking. Sneaky submissions that we saw him in the first fight using variations of the guillotine, which had hints of the go-go choke. But, of course, he was able to finish with the guillotine in the first round. Third round, excuse me. Blasco with a nice attempt at a standing trip. Blasco doing a good job here. He's leaning on his uh, weaponized strength for mixed martial arts. He's got that core strength. Second round, Blasco in the blue, Jones in the red. Oh, there's that lovely head kick, just whips up from Jones. Blasco in on a deep body lock, able to get the takedown. Jones looking to get back to full guard. Nice work from Jones there to turn it around. Gets back to the feet, looks for the separation. Oh, that knee just missed the head of Blasco. Jones close range. He could use the elbows here to disguise the unhook that he wants on that left arm. And again, Blasco's... Attempting to use that frame out to keep Jones away. He used it in the first to be able to spin his back off of the cage. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, though, the online polls have Jones winning this rematch, but only by 68% of the votes, even though he was forced to tap in their last battle in the third round, Nick. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with experience, style matchups. Blasco doing a good job of not taking a ton of damage. And the demolition man haircut. Jones keeps sliding that knees up on the inside anytime that his back gets thrown to the cage. Jones was saying to keep up with these young guns here at 37 years of age, he keeps up with his strength and condition. He's really started to focus that and Im implement that in his training to account for the disparity and potentially the age differences of the opponents he faces. Jones looking to... Elbow on the break. <clears throat> oh, 
Again, Samuel's getting head right up underneath the chin. Nathan Jones turns off the cage. Oh. oh. Went for a spinning elbow or spinning back kick. Samuel was able to just catch him, lift, and dump. Jones here might be looking for the leg lock. In this top position, could go knee bar. Could switch to the heel hook potentially here as well. Jones in on the heel hook. Blasco just trying to clear that knee line. Out again, Blasco starting to work around that neck. Oh, nice right hand clean on the money. There's a knee for good measure from Jones. Nice knee up the center by Blasco. Blasco's just such a wonderful job with counter wrestling. He's always looking for that ample opportunity to expose a dominant position, and we see evidence of that here as he takes the back. Yeah, all he did there was a simple duck under as Jones was coming in, just took the back. Good wrist control by Nathan Jones. Let's go looking for the knee. He got used to kicking that leg out here when he had the body lock. You can see there, he's trying to bait yep. it again. Oh, he oh, jumps jump. back. One hook in. Jones looking to get that arm to the other side of his head. Able to turn and get Blasco off him. Jones looking for that spinning back elbow again. Looking for the right hand, there's a level change from Blasco. So here's Blasco just slipped right off the top of the head with that high kick, able to duck right up underneath that. Gets his takedown. Jones looking to throw that elbow on the break. Here's that spinning into the lift and dump by Blasco. Jones coming out with here with a new sense of uh, focus. Looking to land that knee. There's a low calf kick for the head kick now for Jones. I'm just really wondering what you need to do to Samuel Blasco in order for him to um, show any kind of facial expression change. He's been two fights now, and I've never seen his face change. Like, he's just... It looks like he's out going to the grocery store or something. Oh, chill. He's definitely comfortable in there. You know, having been in this, this matchup before and finishing with a guillotine, it's got to just pour onto his confidence. Some heavy punches from Jones, though. Hands down, though, from Blasco. And that's about potentially not respecting the power because he felt it in the last fight and this one. Jones dropping down here for the heel hook again. Gets a nice position. Counter foot lock though from Blasco. Jones trying to chase after that leg, has to let it go. Blasco doing a good job of clearing away from the leg lock entanglements. Oh, nice jumping knee. Fake the right hand, came in with the knee. 
Looking to step across for the hip throw. Last one now on it. Looking to pull guard. Oh, we got that leg lock. He's got a decent position here. If he can just drive the saddle in, he's going to have more definitive control over that, that leg. At this point in time, he's got the saddle on the outside. He needs to drive that right leg on the inside of the right leg of uh, Blasco. Blasco looking to fight it. Blasco trying to clear the knee line. That's what he's going to do. Once he pops that knee line out, yeah. he drag it free. You can see there, James still trying to chase after the leg. This is what he needed with regards to the saddle. Yep. He's going to be a little bit deep on that knee line, however. Oh, he switches to the opposite side heel hook. Again, Blasco pulling it free. Could see elbows here from Jones. There's the guillotine we saw previously. And it's in the third round again. Blasco seemed to use that, though, to get to that top position. Yeah, and Jones recognized what it was and so instead of leaving his neck there he just went straight to his back now with Blasco he's got Iowa on the left leg nice roll through by Jones going for the leg lock again could be looking to sit back for a knee bar here oh he's got the hyper extension He's got some nice force on this here. Blasco looking to fight it free. And again, the expression don't change on That's the face. What, this is what I'm saying. Uh, hey, you're never going to walk the same again. Eh, it's okay. See there the grimace and the, the audible sound there from Jones. Evident of the pressure he's trying to put through the knee joint. It's going to get a little bit deeper on that knee line, though. Now, I could potentially be switching to a heel hook. Difficult to see if Blasco's hidden that leg. Yeah, he's oh, but Blasco's got his own. But in this exchange, the heel hook here, potential for more damage than that straight foot lock. Yeah, 100%. Jones just trying to rebite on the forearm, on the heel here to rotate it. But in this outside ash, he doesn't have a definitive bite over the, the limb that he's submitting. So sometimes we see the saddle, the, the ashigami, be in a better position to finish the leg locks. He's passed it across to the opposite side here. Can use the hips as well to facilitate the pressure through the knee. And Blasto's doing a good job, though, of using his other leg as the brace. So it creates space by just pushing it against Jones's bum. And also Blasco as well, using the ground and pound there. The key aspect of when the opponent's going for the leg lock in the bottom position that opens up the strikes from the top. Blasco staying heavy in the top position, staying away from the submission attempts of Jones. If we look back at the replays, we'll see Blasco taking knee on the chin. Here was Jones pulling guard, trying to jump that leg lock. Switch to that heel hook. There he is.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a huge round of applause for our co-main event fighters. And after three terrific rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. 29-28, red corner. 29-28, blue corner. And 29-28 for your winner by split decision. And new FSC Waterway champion in the red corner, Nathan Jones. And your terrific runner-up, Samuel Blasco.